I had one more day, I would want to spend it with the people that mean the most to me and just be happy with them. First, I would start by just thanking God for another day and thank him for letting me live as long as I have. I'd be afraid that I wouldn't have done everything that I needed to do or that, you know, I left something undone or something like that. I'd be a little scared at first. It'd be terrifying like, to have a lot of loose ends to wrap up. Going to picnic, I mean, that's what we always did growing up, like every summer. I know exactly what I'd do. I would go to uh, Alaska, a hunting or fishing trip with my family. Just do everything that I love doing with those I love the most. I would hug all my friends. I'd say bye. I'd tell them, we'll see each other again. It's not goodbye, it's just see you later. I would probably like to rekindle my relationship with my dad a little bit more. You know, let him know like how much I love him and how much I wish I could have spent more time with him. Everything that I thought was bad in my life prepared me for everything that's good. So I'm not sure I would change anything. First thing I would do is I would wake up, drive to my mother's house, give her a big hug, give her a kiss on the cheek and tell her I loved her. Walk up and down the beach, probably go in the water the last bit. I'd probably sit down at my piano and just play and play and play. If I had one more day to live, I would uh, give my wife a big kiss, tell her how much I loved her. If you have one more day, you'd share it with the ones you love because you want them to remember you the way you are. I'd want to be with my family. I want to tell them that I love them. I want to talk with my kids. I'd want to talk with my grandkids. I'd want to spend some time with them. I want to tell them about what's important. I talk to them about my faith. I love the Lord, and I talk to them about that same passion. I always tell everybody I love them, and that our Heavenly Father truly does love us, and that He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to earth so that He could die for our sins.